All right. So that is the quintessential Vocaloid song for a lot of reasons. Um, to give some background on it, um, for a lot of the time that Ryo, the composer of that song, was doing Vocaloid music, he actually got like ridiculed and bullied and shit. Um, so a lot of that message, a lot of the message of that song is coming from that place where like, to an extent, finding Vocaloid and using Miku as like a surrogate for how he felt and where he was at personally is like that that alone is like I think the crux of the Vocaloid community and the, there's a bit at the end where um it's from like a first person perspective where like Ryo is saying why can't I why don't I have the strength to save my only friend and this odds and ends came out at a time where Vocaloid was kind of dying like producers were leaving the scene the community was slowly dwindling and um it was like it wasn't certain that Vocaloid would continue at that point and um Rio's connection to the to like the community and like the stuff that he had made and the character of Miku was like slowly coming into question and then he made fucking odds and ends and it became like the Vocaloid song and it almost sort of breathed new life into the community unfortunately it was also his last Vocaloid song because he also then left the community after it um and formed a band supercell who still i believe still do music and then i think Rio came back and did a couple vocaloid tracks like years and years later um but i think odds and ends has a very powerful message that even though i don't specifically work with like you know actually make vocaloid music it's a very powerful message in that if you don't have a voice, you can use Miku as your voice and make music and like change the world or at least change your life with that. And I think that's a very powerful message. Um, and I see I see that reflected so much in all of the very obvious talent that goes into not just making the music, but like making all of the very, very exceptionally good um, PVs that we've seen, like Seraphim on the Ring that we saw on Friday. One of the absolute best PVs in all of Vocaloid that we saw Greenlight Serenade earlier and Dream and Choo Choo and like all of that. It's so amazing that people have this outlet for all of their talents and even like Juby Phonic, the person who sang that fantastic fucking cover I like it would be such a fucking waste of her talent if like Vocaloid didn't exist and like she didn't have an outlet for it um I'm getting really emotional just thinking about this it's like um I have a lot of feelings about Vocaloid um very special to me. I mean, that's obvious, I guess, to an extent. Um, because, hi, I'm Luca. Um, so it's, I don't know. That sort of message is very personal to me. Because, um, I don't know, without... Without Vocaloid, without getting into it, and without... Coming to deeply identify with the music and... The characters I wouldn't have figured out who I am I wouldn't have my name I wouldn't I, I, I'd, I'd probably still like you know have some idea of who I am but it's incredibly important to me so odds and ends in a way is st still applies to me even if I don't specifically make 
music with Vocaloid, because it's... I don't know, it's about having a voice and being inspired by that. 